Radical. It's the one good thing, like no pollen today. No pollen and no hot. Yesterday was too hot. Yeah, it was. I, uh, I want to give you water. Thank you so much. Okay. And I want to know, do you have any fives? Fives? Yeah, I have 20 if you have fives. Or, um, do you have any fives or ones? I have just one five. Uh, do you have any ones? She has a lot. She has a change. Uh, I might come to her for change if I need. Lot, yeah. I have a lot of quarters. You can exchange it now if you need it. Oh, does she have fives? Yeah, she had ones. She has a ones? A lot of ones. Yeah. A lot of ones, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you, um, I'll, I'll come over. I might not need it, you know? Uh -huh. uh, but I have a lot of quarters. I can give people, like, I have $10 dollars in quarters. You know what I'm doing with quarters? What? I'm going to Walmart and I pay with it. You pay with the quarters? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put there all the change I, I got from stores yeah. and everything. Hundred. I have always a little bag. I put it everything so, in the so register. So if the order is $200, you bring out a big bag of quarters yeah. and you go, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. oh, really? I don't care. You don't care. It's money. It is money. You can go to your self checkout, though, and yeah, put the quarters in. But if you're in line, somebody behind no, with one thing, you like, going to self -check you bring out. a whole big bag of money, big bag of, uh, big bag of change and whatnot. No, I'm trying, like, not too big bag, mm -hmm. but, like, I don't know, that big bag, and I, I just put it there. It's money. Has there been any update on Damien that you've heard of? You haven't no, heard anything nothing, new? Nothing. So you basically said, like, he threatened to off himself. That's who said that? Was it the, his mother? His mother, yeah, his so-called mother, the adoptive so mother. mother. Um, has she been by here recently? No, I she didn't is. see her since I was talking to her last time about it. And that was like what a month ago? Two weeks. Two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. And where's Damien now? Did she, last she, time she said he was in a, in the hospital. Uh huh. And she said she's not going to even visit him. She's not going to visit him. No. That's terrible. It almost feels like she's happy to be rid of him. Almost. Not almost. It was like very happy to get rid of him. Obvious. You think she might have lied? Here's about the thing that. about him doing that. I don't know. Yeah. With this kind of people, you don't know what is yeah. the truth, what is not. Mm -hmm. you know? it, it's sad, even though he was kind of a headache. I it kind would of... be. It would be. Just like, you know. Yeah. It's sad, kind of a headache, but I kind of want to see him again. Now I hear all this, you know. I'm like, it's okay. Just, you know, sit there and uh, uh, annoy me for a while and play video games. Because mm -hmm. I really don't want that kind of outcome. Yeah, but, yeah. It's, it's, I got help for sometimes, too, to come by and help out even. But it can get rough here. Like, busy and everything. Whatever happened. You told me a long time ago, whatever happened with that kid that was asking you to adopt him. Damien? I don't know. Um, kind of a sad story, to be honest. Really? He's, I think, back in the protective or uh, back in the adoption services. There's the same bee that comes out and hangs out here right... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the same bee that hangs out. I had to get, like, a bee slaughter or something. Yeah. But that kid winded up being not so bad, but uh, his mother actually was insufferable. So I need to find out more details about it. Insufferable, like like she's just like bad mental state. No, just like bad to him. Oh. You know, didn't allow him to do certain things, and he didn't want to be with her. So I think he was actually, I think he's intelligent. He was trying to cause a buzz to where she puts him back to adoptive services so someone else can adopt him. Oh, he did it in front of her. Uh, well, I don't know. But this kid is much smarter than eight years old because he came here trying to get me to adopt him. Right. So he's actually kind of slick. Right. If that's, I think of it that way, like he's, gonna, he's brilliant. Up here, he's brilliant. Right. Even though he, he was pretty was, much just that one time and he thought. He was. No, he kept asking. Like, he kept saying, like, I could do a lot of help around the house. And half of me thinks, is his mom putting up, putting him up to this or something? But it's just a sad story. Um, I hope things work out well for him. Essentially, I hope he wasn't being serious, but he kept telling his mother, you know, if he couldn't do this, do that, go here, he would kill himself. Well, he's only eight, too. I know. So he must have heard it online or read that or something. Can't really, you can't do much as an eight-year-old. Yeah. So, but he was saying that, so it scared her enough to put him back to protective services or uh, adoption agencies. Yeah, that, I just thought to ask because I remember you mentioned him and you, you seemed bothered by it. I was. I mean, I was originally bothered by it, but now I'm bothered in a second second situation because I just kind of hope I hope he finds a good home. I hope he finds a good home, but not my home. 
Right, yeah. You know, somewhere else, but like... That's kind of an uncomfortable situation. If you're here selling games and someone like trying to start <laughs> starts hugging your leg, I mean, that was the last thing you expected. Yeah, now it's different if I'm dating a dating a female, right. and then her son thinks I want to be a dad. That's different. Yeah, that's the difference. Because there's something in there I want in that situation. That's a that's not an ideal situation, but at least there's something I'm getting in that situation for me. Yeah. This is like I, I can do my own chores around the house. Yeah, I don't need any chores done. I wouldn't have known what to sell. I would have been like stunned. But ultimately, you know why she adopted him? The one lady up there says it was because of because you, you get paid to adopt. Yeah, like tax right off. Yes, I think that's what it is. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of benefits to do that. A lot of benefits to it because they make it very beneficial. And uh, it's terrible to know that that's all he really was to her. Like at no point did I, did I ever feel like there was any like parenting. You know, yeah. like, this is not a situation where she wanted to bring someone into her home and love somebody unconditionally, not a couple that couldn't have kids. No, it was somebody that just wanted to adopt for whatever reasons, shallow reasons. Maybe she's older, she can't have a kid. So she wanted people to even maybe think she was younger. I don't know. Yeah. Because I heard she was really, really shallow. And she, she went to get, she went to Columbia to get cosmetic surgery at some point. But between you and me, she didn't really look that good. So right. they must have botched the, uh, the surgery. Right. You know, I don't know if you can get your money back or something like that. Uh, probably not. I mean, like, not really botched, but she just wasn't really attractive. I've heard the more times you have those, like, facial plastic surgeries, the less likely it is to turn out good. Like, well, look at, uh, look at how Michael Jackson looked. Well, yeah, he went overboard. He went incredibly overboard. Yeah, I he, guess. He became like a, a, a white ghost. Like yeah, a white, scary ghost or something. Like, like a ghoul. Like, each time you have it, the percentage of it turning out is less and less. Like, how much nose did he have left? Oh, uh, he just... The nose was It was gone. just like a pinch. It like, was a pinch of a nose. He kept going... Janet Jackson don't really have much of a nose either. He kept going, too much nose. Get, <laughs> get rid of my nose. Yeah, pretty much. I don't like this. Get rid of that. I, I thought he looked fine. Like, in, like the way he looked in Thriller, he looked really good. Yeah, like when he was like in Thriller, like he was... I mean, he was a han- he was a handsome young black guy. Yeah, there was nothing wrong so, with him. So, I don't know how a handsome young black guy turned into like a, an old skinny white woman. You probably become like... Really self conscious the way how famous he was. I was thought about like if you have all these bright lights upon you, I don't even know. Like, if you have all these bright lights upon you, then you had people criticizing you, criticizing you every day for every little thing, especially like some of the female performers and actors and models and whatnot. Mm-hmm. It's almost this cycle to where you feel like you have to impress people by your looks. And he impressed people by his music. Right. You know, like, he didn't have to do anything else. Like, he was a great artist. He was one of the best dancers of all time. So, when it comes to it, it was so crazy when you look and you go, like, why is he so weird and crazy to where he has to keep having these plastic surgeries? Mm -hmm. But maybe, like, at some point, you know, you just go nuts because you're so famous and you have all these people uh, focusing on you. I can only imagine... If he was coming up in the time we have right now with social media, mm-hmm. how that is, yeah, you know, like extreme. how many more surgeries would he have if like people were like analyzing it and then they were saying, well, that surgery got botched. He's like, no, no, it didn't work. I got to go back. Yeah, pretty And he much. keeps going back until, yeah. You know, I think you're supposed to wait like a year or years to have more and he probably didn't wait the time limit and all that. Well, he's talking about the Easy Pro. It's like this Easy Pro. It's like when I put a disc in. And you keep, you know, spinning it down, spinning it down. Mm-hmm. At some point, there's not a whole lot of disc left to sand off. Right. You know, you you're just, just making it worse. Then you just mess the disc up totally. Just like he messed up his face totally. Yeah. yeah that's a good comparison. Yeah. Well, I got to get going, man. But it's okay. nice seeing you. Yeah, good to see you too, hey, buddy. I remember you, man. It's now been two years since I've been doing this. Yeah, we've been talking for a while. Yeah, but keep on coming back, man. You'll hope you find some good um, uh, rock stuff. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, good luck to that.